Was something else, but I wonder where he went. Take back sunny sunshine, defeat some bad guy. Cat people are so strong, cow is all so strong. La la, huh? Is that you over there, booby lady? Long time no see, meow. Oh, hi, Tao. Yes, it's been a while. You're as bouncy as always, booby lady. Knock it off. Meow, meow, I'm having so much fun, meow. They're wonderful chunks of meat that are as tempting as catnip, meow. <laughs> don't do that. Hey, that's enough. That hurt, meow. I'm sorry, I'm just... I'll forgive you if you let me play with your boobies again. That's out of the question. You're mean, meow. That's fine by me. By the way, booby lady, you seem troubled. What's the matter, Meow? Are you hungry? I have some dried sardines if you want, Meow. N no, thank you. But I do need help. He... Well, let me put it this way. Have you seen a black squiggly thing before? No, I haven't, Meow. Oh, I see. What am I gonna do? Miss Lychee! Where are you? People that you don't want around you are always nearby for some reason. <sighs> it's becoming a problem. You need those who are coming after you gone. Is that it, booby lady? Let me take care of it for you, meow. If it goes well, I want something in return. I can't exactly work for free, you know. I'm looking for a man called Ragna. If you can either tell me where he is or, uh, give me a lot of meat buns, consider it done. Ragna. <laughs> Which one sounds better to you, Meow? Hmm, let's see. The person who's to walk by probably knows who Ragnar is. The person who walked by will probably buy some meatballs for- Heck! <laughs> She's screwing me over! Um, uh, uh, this one's easier. <laughs> now buy your food. The person after you is going to treat me to some meat buns, Meow? Really? I'm getting sold out, aren't I? I'd love to treat you to some myself, but I'm sort of in a hurry right now. So try and ask that man there for it, okay? She sold me out to save her ass. Thanks for the tip, booby lady. I'll be right there, meat bun man, meow! She really left. I was only half joking. But I guess it's for the best. I have to find him while I still can. Scruffy man right there, you gotta give me some meat buns, meow! Meat buns? Unfortunately, I don't have any on me. You're lying! Booby Lady said you'd treat me to some meat buns! You don't need to hold back meow! Feel free to give me all you've got! Yeah, you're kidding, right? Then, I guess I'll have to rob you! Wait, what? What's your reasoning for it? You know what they do to bad kids like you! It's time for a spanking! Yeah. Well, you heard the man! The will of fate is the <laughs> Rebel one. That'll be fine, it's just Tao. Ow. Sorry, Tao, but the, the, nope, no food for you. Fuck it off. Yeah. Hey, I got plans. I'm busy today. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> ah. Hey. Nope, miss. Hey. Hey. Ah, miss. <laughs> ah, god damn it. There's meat buns in the background. Go to the background. Go away. <laughs> yeah. The fight for meat buns is a real fight. Okay. Tower cock it off. Yeah. Tower no, tower. Come on. We're, we're, we're friends. Stop hitting me. Ah. Uh, you know. Right, fight. Kick to the face. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> No meat buns today. I lost meow. I wonder what that child wanted. Oops, I have no time for this. I gotta go after Miss Lychee. Miss Lychee! 
I'll be right there! Pathetic insect. The Azure has drawn you here, but you have reached your limit. This is the end for you. Your magic power stop I from it. You allowed yourself to become corrupted by the wisdom that lies beyond the boundary. The magic that I wield would utterly destroy you. I will grant your release now. I suggest you return to the boundary what you have borrowed. Hold it! Who are you? Surely you cannot think to stop me. <sighs> you refuse to admit the truth. If that creature was once human, it left that world long ago. He has no reason to live. I know. But I can't just stand here and watch him die. Then the two of you shall depart for the boundary together. Prepare yourself. Goodbye, foolish child. Whoa! That looks like Miss Lychee over there. She's protecting that black squiggly thing again? And more importantly, she chose it over me? No, this isn't the time to get jealous. I'll be right there, Miss Lychee! Not on my watch. Hang. I'm sorry I'm a little late, but you have nothing to worry about now. Bang Shishigami will protect both you and that black squiggly thingy. A ninja of Ikariga, are you? Step aside, or condemn yourself to my wrath. There are no men in Ikaruga who would back off because they were told so. You're the one who needs to get ready for this. Let's settle this fair and square. You have made your choice then. Prepare yourself. I am Hakumen. The end has come. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one, action! Ah, fuck you too. Ah, fuck off! Yeah. Oh, hit to the head. Oh man, pulverizing dress looks so cool. Yeah, no. Oh. You suck of shit, die! Yeah. I can win, I hate you so much. Die! No! You're dumb. You're infinity nonsense! Uh, sorry! With your chain fighting bullshit! Take that crap back to Street Fighter where it fucking belongs! Um, Shinigami style, ultimate steel technique! Steel Raid! Stop hating me! Ah, uh, fuck off! Shinigami style! Take your shit back where it belongs! Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you, Bahakaman. He's still getting it. It seems I am victorious. He's getting rained on as he's dying. <laughs> Impressive. Your spirit is strong. But it makes little difference. With blade in hand shall I reap the sins of this world and cleanse it in the fires of destruction. The end has come. My power left Chris no end. My sick, my sick power. Seether is escalating indefinitely. This is just like what happened to Iruma. It can't be. Now is the time, Ninja of Ikaruga. We have not yet finished. W wait, aren't you aware of what's happening here? Yes, it has begun. But there is yet time. I cannot afford to lose the likes of you. I guess I have no other choice then. Miss Lychee, please get out of here with that squiggly thingy. Let me handle this. But the gate is out of control now. If this goes on, this place will be wiped out just like Iruma. You'll die for sure if you get dragged into it. There's nothing to worry about. As soon as I finish him off, I'll be right behind you. I'll see you at the bar in Orient Town. Would you like to have a drink with me there? 
I will. I'll be waiting for you. All right now. That's enough warm up. Check this out. This is the master art of the Ikaruga Ninja. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Really? No, 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 no. Uh... Ah, thank Christ. <laughs> On the lowest of 13 layers, which are Kagutsuchi, the Kakar clan has taken residence. But here, there is no sky and no stars. The skyscraping structures on higher levels had completely covered the sky. However, there was once a man who reclaimed the tattered sky of the Kaka village. The man's name? Bang Shishigami. A real man who put others' lives before his own in the Kagutsuchi Gate incident, saving not only the Kaka clan, but the entire city of Kagutsuchi. Inevitably, irreversible damage has been done to the Kaka village. Bang's destruction of higher layers has caused once again rays of light to shine upon the villagers of Kaka. In the Kaka clan, the heroic tales of Bang Shishigami have been passed from generation to generation as a folk tale of the man who stole back the sun. Take this! Super special technique! Catch an opponent off guard by making it look like I fall on my face! Oh, I can't believe it! You totally got me! It's my turn to be Boss Bang now! No, it's my turn! It's my turn! It's mine! Distortion finish was a mistake, wasn't it? I wanna play Boss Bang too! Yeah! Take this humongous nail! Ultimate technique for Ring Kazan! Everybody be nice to each other, meow. No fighting. If Scruffy Man of Love and Justice sees this, he will get mad in heaven. Okay. Good answer. I'm sure that makes the Scruffy Man happy, meow. It's getting dark, so let's all go home. You've met Boss Bang before, right, Tao? Yeah. It was a long time ago, though. He was such a Scruffy Man. <gasps> Boss Bing must have been so strong. Though not as strong as Tao. But he sure was. If he was really that strong, why did he have to go to heaven? He wanted to bring back the sky upon the village of Kaka Meow. Look, Meow! The scruffy man is watching over us to make sure everybody is happy from up there. Let's all say thank you to him now. Ready? Thank you, Scruffy Man! I'm not dead, right? <laughs> right. 